Hello, I'm Dr. Willingham. I've spent many years studying Renaissance history. I'm here to tell you what I know about the role of Pope Sixtus in the assassination. The biggest problem for Sixtus was money. He ordered the building of many churches throughout Italy. He also commissioned artists to create sculptures for him and his churches. However, he spent well beyond what the church could afford. He borrowed a great deal of money from the Medici to help pay for more projects. It was illegal to even have banks in Rome as it was the holy city. The Pope allowed it though as he needed the money. The trouble began when he went to the Medici for a loan to buy a city near Florence. Lorenzo di Medici wanted the town for himself and refused to give the Pope the loan. This was a stunning event. Nobody refuses the Pope when he asks for something. The Pope decided to take all of the church bank accounts and give them to the Pozzi family bank. None of this is in dispute. Sixtus argued that he had no reason to attack the Medici since he had already proven his point by closing his account with them. Losing the papal account cost the Medici dearly and gave the Pozzi a tremendous boost in power. Lastly, it must be said, that as Pope, Sixtus could have caused the Medici harm in any number of ways if he really wanted to. He could have used excommunication for example. The only thing holding him back was how much the people of Florence loved the Medici. But, would that fear alone drive a pope to support murder?